Some viewers may find this disturbing. Your discretion is advised. Hey, my loves. Hey, my loves. It's Destin Choice, and you're watching Choice TV. Not really. Subscribe to my second channel because YouTube is banning me for a week. I can't post my main channel for a week. Blah, blah, blah. Now for today's video, I'm eating my loaded vegan french fries. I have diced cucumbers on here, jalapenos, diced green peppers. It's drizzled in cayenne pepper, black pepper, and ketchup. And onions. Mmm. Can't wait to fuck this shit up. So anyways, this is going to be a regular, regular rant. <laughs> I feel like I need to make this video because I've been, this is just a long way to video I've been meaning to make. Long story short, why don't I watch black YouTubers? Why doesn't YouTube support black YouTubers? Long story short, let's just admit that a lot of the black YouTubers on here are boring as fuck. A lot of the YouTubers I do subscribe to are black and 95% of them don't post enough, don't post like they used to, change their content. Or I had to unsubscribe to all them bitches because all they do is fucking pranks or fucking who's most likely to challenges. Now let's face the facts. White YouTubers, aka the snow bunnies, because that's what I call the um that's what I call all the problematic YouTubers that get a pass for everything and just manage to grow and grow and grow. You fucking nigger who have two nicknames? Now you're just bragging, nigga bitch! Oh, nigga, bitch, monkey woman. The snow bunnies managed to grow and grow and grow and explode. And here I'm seeing black YouTubers doing the same shit, not growing like they used to, aren't thriving as much. And I'm always wondering, why is it? Oh, spicy. I mean, I know YouTube is racist sometimes. I know they ain't shit. And they only like to push the white YouTubers to the forefront. Cause I mean, let's be honest, when you go on the training page, most of it is covered in snow bunnies. <laughs> most of it is covered in... Unseasoned chicken. Unseasoned taco meat. And I'll be over here like, huh? And I said this in a video one time. And I'm like, yo, like, where's the diversity on YouTube? Like... Why do only white makeup beauty gurus get pushed when they do brand deals? Why do the white, the snow bunnies, or any anybody that isn't black get the most brand deals from makeup companies like MAC? Why do the white beauty gurus who are, a lot of them are clearly racist, and I don't really fuck with or support any of them. Why the hell are they being pushed and thriving on this platform when you got people like Jackie Ina, then you got people like Alyssa Ashley, then you got... Other people, like Shalom Black and other, you know, black beauty influencers who aren't thriving and getting the numbers that they should get. Jackie Ina has been on YouTube for centuries. She's been on YouTube just as long as the Jeffree Stars, the Lord DIYs, and all the other snow bunny bitches who are problematic and racist as fuck and are always in drama. But, like, why doesn't she get the same amount of views? It just really always confuses me. I said in one of my videos, name... 10 YouTubers that consistently get millions and millions and millions of views. Consistently. And everybody could only name like 3 or 4. CJ So Cool, the alleged industry plant Janelle Eliana. For those of you guys who don't know Janelle Eliana, she's a black girl who basically thrived and exploded on YouTube out of nowhere and got a million subscribers just off of having 3 videos. I did some thinking. And I realized that most of the black YouTubers that are popular, all of them do the same shit. At least with the snow bunnies and the white YouTubers, all of them are indifferent, the most creative scandals. Some of them are some of them are beefing with celebrities. Others are throwing huge conventions and having it flop. Others are having huge controversies with their lipsticks. The black YouTubers are really out here doing I like you pranks. So I have to do some self-reflection and realize, hmm. Do I watch black YouTubers? Because I definitely do. I watch As Told by Kenya. I really like her. I watch Lovely T. I watch Impressive. I watch Daytime Tea Time. Hmm. I watch B Loves Life. I watch her son. I watch her whole family. I watch a lot of black mukbangers. But I don't watch a lot of black YouTubers specifically because, like I said, 
they all did the same shit. And somebody pointed out to me in my comments and said, Choice, you're not alone. I understand where you're coming from. Because every time I look for a black YouTuber that I like, they end up doing a fucked up fraudulent ass scandal, storyline, or fake pranks. It's like, I find a YouTuber that I like. And out of nowhere, I see back to back, I like you pranks. <laughs> Baby, scoop back, bro. Oh, oh. Bro, this is. Hey, hold on. Hey, chill, 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 chill. 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 Bro, let me go, bro. So if, not, if it's not an I like you prank. Then it's them walking around the fucking mall interviewing people, asking them stupid ass questions like, which race do you prefer, light skin or dark skin? I'm like, come on, man, really? And it's mainly the black male YouTubers doing this shit, or black female YouTubers doing this shit. The question is, which I prefer, light skin or dark skin? And what you said? Light skin. And why you say light skin? They better. So what about me? It's not too bad. It's too bad. What? <laughs> so, that's what I like, and I like to be um, tall and fit, tall and fit. Yeah. And I know that's their fine names. With good hair. That's the good hair. To make sure. Going around the mall asking stupid ass questions. I'm just like, really? Like, we the only race that do that. Ask stupid ass questions like light skin or dark skin. I really try to. Support a lot of black YouTubers by commenting on their stuff, showing them love. A lot of times, we live in a world where black people don't really care to help one another. Like, there are a lot of black YouTubers that have the mindset of, oh, I don't want to help somebody, or I don't want to collab with somebody, or, I don't want to work with somebody because I don't really care. It's not just a black YouTubers, it's all YouTubers in general. Like, a lot of YouTubers don't care to collab with other YouTubers specifically because they see it as a, well, what can you do for me? Or, well, your views aren't as much as mine. And it's just like, black YouTubers don't really help one another. There are YouTubers that are in their group, and they they do help each other. But it's just, you get what I'm trying to say? It's just weird to me how black YouTubers aren't killing it on this platform. And then whenever I say this, I get that one or few people saying, and a lot of times they're white, saying, yeah, YouTube do have diversity. YouTube do has inconclusivity or whatever the fuck the word is. What about Glozell? What about fucking, um, what about, um, CJ So Cool? Or what about the Ace Family? First of all, bitch, the Ace Family is not black. Austin is multiracial. That family is not black. I mean, you got Dick and Balls Nation, but they're literal trolls. <clears throat> they do the dumbest shit for attention. And I feel like, to be realistic, can you guys recommend some YouTubers for me to watch? Because I can give you a list of YouTubers that I watch. Because it seems like almost every YouTuber that's black is doing the same shit. And it's like, it just doesn't even become entertaining anymore. You know, it gets to a point... Where it's just like, come on now, really? The only black YouTubers that I feel like are thriving are the ones that are entertaining but don't get the views that they deserve, aka Lovely T and Impressive. Like, a lot of times these YouTubers don't get the views they deserve compared to other channels that are white. And then the other black YouTubers that are thriving are, like, they're, a lot of them are stereotypes. Like, for example, you know what? I'm gonna name drop. I don't give a fuck. Tila Dunn. Tila Dunn is the ultimate stereotype. She's the quirky, we, we, just be real, we all have went to school with these kind of black girls where they're quirky and they only date white guys and they basically are the stereotype of a black girl that wants to be white. I mean, for example, Tina Dunn literally said in a YouTube video that she doesn't consider herself just black. She considers herself mixed. I am African-American German. French. Uh, I have a little bit of Indian inside of me, Frio, and I think that's about it. But I'm mostly German and African American, so I have a lot of German in me. My my great great grandparents were like all German, so I have a lot of German in me. Which come on now, that girl is visibly black. I mean, look at her fucking parents. 
You block! So people like Tila Dunn, and then you got other YouTubers. I don't feel like naming a whole bunch, just probably a long list of them. A lot of the black YouTubers that are like really, really out here doing good, but they have mainly white audiences. A lot of times they're stereotypes. They're the stereotypes that white people want want to see in black people. The quirky, um, over-exaggerated, the few stereotypes. Like black people are the most stereotypes. For one, I mean, Nicole TV is very popular and she's doing her thing and no hate to her. I do like her, but I feel like she's the ratchet stereotype. She's the goofy girl. She makes jokes about herself. She downplays herself. She always snatches her wig off, her wig off. and the girl is funny. Fuck. And she definitely, oh, thank God I have a screen protector. Y'all better get some screen protectors. You know, Nicole is really entertaining, but I feel like she's the stereotype that white people want to see in black people. Like, I don't know any YouTuber besides Jackie Ina that gets millions and millions of views that doesn't do the basic cliche black YouTuber shit. I mean, there's a reason why black YouTubers aren't getting pushed. And there's a reason why people say, I don't watch black YouTubers, because a lot of black YouTubers are attached to this whole stigma that all they do is fucking fake pranks, stupid ass storylines, clickbait vlogs, the truth about us, the truth about our relationship, meet my boyfriend, meet my girlfriend. And it's annoying. The only black YouTuber I can think of that's thriving and doing their thing is obviously Janelle Eliana, the girl who lives in her van. I many many suspect that she's an industry plant, which means I don't really see it that way. I just feel like people aren't used to the world. I mean, I feel like the world's not used to a black girl doing good and thriving and making a name for herself so easily. Like I like Janelle Eliana, she's a chill girl, but she's like that quirky black girl stereotype. I think she's somewhat entertaining, but a little bit boring at the same time. I'm gonna just go down the list of black YouTubers that I watch. You know what? Not black YouTubers. YouTubers in general that I watch. Oh, make sure y'all incorporate cucumbers into your diet. Mm. They have a lot of antioxidants and nutritionists and fiber. Let me go down my list real quick. I watch As Told by Kenya. I watch The Rush Fam. I watch B Love and her son. I watch a lady named It's So Good. I watch Brandon Taylor. I watch Adam 22. Popped by Cherry. Lovely Tea. Day <coughs> Spicy. Daytime Tea Time. Denzel Dion. I watch God Denzel sometimes. I watch For Harry. Impressive. A drama channel named Spill. Tia Mori from Sister Sister. Danny and Gabby Victor, and myself, and then my friends, and that's about it. I'm sure there's more, but consistently, I don't really watch many black YouTubers. I feel like we're in a space right now where many black YouTubers feel like in order to grow, they have to do all the stupid ass trends. The public interviews, the fake pranks, the fake relationships, or the story storylines. I mean, look at Ari and Trey. Ari and Trey right now are doing this cornball ass storyline where apparently she's pregnant and people are pissed about it. So now the next time a black YouTuber is pregnant, the whole world about to be like, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Oh, fuck. I thought I saw a road that was just my shadow. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? A lot ruined it for all. And that's why a lot of our videos don't get pushed. Because you have the black YouTubers who manage to get millions of views, hundreds of thousands of views. Create a stigma behind it. I mean, there is KSI, the British YouTuber. But he's for the white folks. 
He's crazy whitewashed, and he's an extra crazy loud black guy who swears a lot. He's a stereotype. Like, think about it. Most of the famous black YouTubers that thrive on this platform are stereotypes. I can think of one black guy that does really good on this platform as that stereotype. I think his name is Marcus True or something like that, the tech guy. But a lot of black tech YouTubers aren't stereotypes. But the others, they either doing fake shit or they either stereotypes, and they just make everybody look bad. I wish there could be diversity in the YouTube community, but I feel like YouTube don't even care to bring diversity. I mean, come on now, like YouTube events. I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with VidCon. VidCon is a whole YouTube event that's about YouTube and self-expression and anything YouTube. And then I look at the feature creator list, and a lot of times it's mainly white people or it's mainly anybody else but black people. Like barely in diversity. I remember I mentioned that in a video and somebody was like, no look, see, there's four black people. Bitch, four black people isn't diversity. I'm just getting fed up with the lack of diversity and the platform full of stereotypes. And at this point, it's becoming really, really hard to watch a lot of black YouTubers. Like a lot of times when I watch black YouTubers, if I find a black YouTuber I like, I have to watch at least three to five videos to make sure that I really like them and their personality, or I ain't watching them. It's the lack of creativity on this platform, not even from black people, but from people in general. I mean, let's be realistic, y'all. When y'all go through y'all subscription feed, don't y'all just be going through your subscription feed like, <sighs> boring. Like y'all ever catch yourself scrolling through YouTube like 10 times looking for something to watch while you do your hair or while you eat or while you do homework or while you study or while you're cleaning? Cause, <clears throat> oh, joke, oh, I'm joking. Oh. Because ain't nothing to watch. Like all these YouTubers are boring. There's literally no one that interests me. All the lit people don't post enough. A second roll, and all the people who are lame and do all the fake shit post the most, and even they don't even get as much views or even pushed. Black or white or Asian, can some of y'all recommend some good YouTubers that are actually entertaining? that don't do fake pranks, that aren't problematic, that aren't racist. Give me some good YouTubers. Because every year, I have myself having to unsubscribe, bitch, unsubscribe to a YouTuber who I thought was real. Like, for example, Diamond Flawless. There was this one girl named Diamond Flawless who I really enjoyed. I thought she was the most entertaining person ever. Her content was creative. And her editing style was dope. But then she started doing fake storyline content with her boyfriend. And that's why, like, I can't stand when YouTube couple, YouTube people, YouTubers that I like turn into couple channels. Because then I just be like, really? Like, you selling out for a couple bands? Like, you really out here selling your soul, being a couple channel, and then doing regular couple shit? It becomes disingenuous. Like, it becomes uncomfortable and cringy. Like, Aaliyah J, I used to really, really like her. And I want to do a whole video about her, sharing her boyfriend on the internet finally. Because, in case you guys didn't know, she finally shares her man on the internet, which I think is a horrible idea, but that's another video that I might just do. But, she just changed, like Aaliyah, this was before her relationship, like she's just not the same Aaliyah that I subscribe to. I don't know, if you if, if you know, you know, like she's just not the same. I know people are going to change, but some people just become sellouts. So yeah, black YouTubers don't get the credit they deserve, because some ruin it for all. Or you gotta be the stereotype they want you to be. So yeah, honestly, <clears throat> I'm just talking my shit, milking this video. 
Cause a lot of y'all want a long chill video. Cause a lot of y'all tell me that y'all watch me when y'all driving or when you're cleaning or you're studying or you're trying to pass time. You know, somebody one time told me, Choice, you don't post enough. And because you don't post enough, I'd be stuck watching these fake ass pranks all day. I'm like, I think that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the lack of creativity on this platform from people of color. Like really? So I'm gonna be doing he licked my kitty pranks. And then when a white person does Room Tour 2017, 5 million views. I'm like, hey, what the fuck? YouTube really got a racist ass algorithm. YouTube needs to fire other employees and hire people who are all about diversity and being conclusive. Is that the word? I feel like I'm using the word. Where is it inclus inclusivity? Siri, what does inclusivity mean? Inclusivity means an intention or policy of including people who might otherwise be excluded or marginalized, such as those who are handicapped or learning disabled, or racial and sexual minorities. See? YouTube is run by whites. And it's kind of overwhelming when I see the training page, and even the makeup industry, full of people who aren't even black. I mean, let's look at the Met Gala, for example. Like, guess who got invited to the Met Gala? Problematic, allegedly racist James Charles. Because YouTube CEO felt like it was a good representation for YouTube. And I understand, you know, James Charles is gay and makeup is like, I keep dropping my shit. And the makeup industry is like the best industry to be in. But it's just one of those things where it's just, I'm just tired of seeing the same fucking people over and over on the training page being pushed. But real shit, y'all. Many of y'all are wondering why I'm gonna post more and why I'm posting every day. And wow, like, a lot of y'all are saying, um, wow, what's with all the content? What's going on? So basically, I just feel like, I feel like I want to be further than where I already am. Like, I feel like I'm in control of my own destiny. And this is, like, what I have control of. So I'm going to just keep going and go harder. Like, I feel like I'm not working hard enough. So yeah, I'm gonna be posting so much. And also y'all, I'm gonna do a video about what happened to one on one or what happened to everybody hates Chris or what happened to this show. I really wanna do a video about what happened to Star. That'd be a really fucking good video. I really wanna do a video about what happened to so-and-so, like what shows or what YouTuber, like just comment below like what YouTuber or what TV show from the old from the early nineties or early two thousands or mid two thousands I should talk about. Like, a where are they now? Because I was recently looking for a where are they now with one on one, and there was literally like nothing. There was like one video from 2013. And it's just a slideshow picture. I'm on like a full blown breakdown. And I don't know if y'all watch Black Femininity. I love her. She like does a lot of videos on what happened to the Cosby show, what happened to Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Like, she does like a lot of videos about what happened to so and so, what happened to MTV Cribs. Like, those are some good ass videos. I like, I like her videos and comedy hype. I love comedy hype. So yeah, I wanna, on this channel, I wanna shake things up a little bit. Like I wanna grind on my main channel, grind on this channel. And this channel also isn't monetized y'all. So a lot of you have been asking why there are no ads on here. It's not monetized. You have to like, you have to have like a certain amount of videos with a certain amount of watch minutes. So I need to reach like 4,000 watch hours. And I only have like, a thousand watch hours so yeah if you know anybody that watches me let them know about my, about my second channel because i'm suspended off youtube for like a whole fucking week so 
I can't even post on my main channel, which is annoying. If you're confused why, I did a whole video. Just go back on this channel, we'll look for it. But yeah, real shit. I'm really gonna do like more personal stuff on this channel. I wanna do a house tour. I'm also gonna do um, more Q&As. Some of y'all said y'all want more story times. And I just wanna do like all types of sorts of things on this channel. So, let me know what y'all want. I'm gonna give y'all what y'all want on this channel. My channel, on my main channel, it has way too many comments. I get like thousands of comments like every fucking um, every fucking day. So it's like it's kind of hard to see what y'all want. So now that my comments are flooded, like y'all can comment what y'all want to see, and I'll do it. You want me to react to something? A lot of y'all keep asking me to talk about this whole Aryan trade situation, give y'all a breakdown. And I was like, oh my god, y'all are forcing me to do some work because I I thought I was done talking about the fat back computer shaped ass bitch and fat back computer shaped ass bitch junior. I thought I was done with the fraud squad, the cum squad, whatever the fuck they are. But, yeah. Shit, I keep dropping my phone because I keep coming to shut my fucking lap. Anyways, that was that for this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up down below. And yeah, that's that. Bye. You're needing me, baby. you With a love, with a love, now we gotta come back, baby, who you need? Who the fuck is that to me? I'm out of breath, but I'll that for this concert. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to the second channel. Let me know what you think.